Just recently, a fire was started apparently by a group of people who were smoking in a riverbed, which caused damage to the tune of $400,000 to two houses after their thatched roofs caught fire. Self-described community advocate Mario Guterres urged the Riabot community to avoid the trend of recklessly smoking in riverbeds. And then the wind was blowing, I would say, at anything between 25 to 30 kilometers uh, per hour. So which, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's blowing. So the fire immediately jumped from one lapa to the next one. And uh, it was a hell of a place, let me tell you. And then you couldn't even get near because of the heat of, of the fire. Not far from where that destructive fire took place, another was reportedly started by children who were playing with matches. Guterres stresses this is not the first time fires of this nature have occurred. Please keep the children out of the river beds and the field because, you know, we ask God to bless us with field because our animals were dying. And now all of a sudden we put fire on that. I mean, I mean, that's not uh, right. And, you know, it, uh, any human who ever sense uh, won't allow sick things like that, really. I'm, I'm, I'm worried, to be honest, and I'm, I'm every day on the radio and uh, telling and educating people, but it seems I don't get through. Guterres currently provides training to young people on first aid and firefighting, particularly among those who failed grade 10. These are the homemade containers they plan to keep handy in each block to help put out similar fires. I could get the whole... Uh, community involved in this. If everyone contributes a 20 or a 50 dollar, then we can build for the old blocks one. So what means is that if he's at a fire, the nearest guy goes straight to that and then we others go and join them. So you know because a lot of times uh, you know distance plays a big big role. So far, he has trained about 50 young people, with some managing to receive job placements through the training they underwent. Selima Henok, NBC News, Riaboth.